Hello friends and welcome to another Sims 4 Horse Ranch Expansion Pack video. A big thank you to EA for sponsoring this video as well as the previous video. If you guys would like to get your hands on the new Horse Ranch Expansion Pack, use the link in the description below. And I just want to remind you guys, the Sims 4 base game is free, so definitely go and grab that if you haven't already. And if you're interested in horses, definitely grab this expansion pack because I've been playing it a lot recently and I really love it. Um, as you can see in front of me, I have created like a little uh, ranch lot. <laughs> There's no house. I don't need a house. My sim is not important. The horses are important. But I'll just give you guys a mini tour before we jump into what we're actually going to be doing today in this video. We're going to be breeding because that's something I didn't get to last time and I really, really wanted to do that. So um, first I had to, of course, create a lot. I'm going to go ahead and unpause the, the game so that we can actually have a proper look. Um, so yes, this is, I, this was originally the, I think it's a 64 by 64 lot. I could be wrong though. Um, and I just decided, you know what? I don't want like a big barn to take up too much of the space. I want it to be super open and I want to focus on the breeding element. So we want to make sure that we have some open space for all the horses. They're all going a bit nuts at the minute. Actually, they're all running around for some reason. So I'll let them get on with that. Uh, so right here we have the entrance. This is the cute kind of rustic entrance and uh, the horseshoe hedges, which you can't see right now, but these little dots on them light up at night. And I thought that that was super cute. Um, so once you come into the ranch on your right hand side is this little trailer. I don't think you had trailers in Sims 3 as like a placeable object. So I love that they've added that. It, it's just an adorable, adorable addition. Um, something that I noticed with this pack which was probably obvious to begin with but um in comparison to the original sims 3 uh horse expansion is this definitely focuses more on like rustic western than it does the english uh which i think the sims 3 pack sort of did because um in the racing for instance i don't think we had barrels in the previous one uh there was jumping and racing which were these like racing poles that you could like run between uh, and instead we have these barrels which one of them has already been knocked over there's also poop in this arena which I need to to clean out which I will do mon momentarily but yes this is the this is the arena I kind of wanted like a bigger space to be able to train the horses in which I've been doing a lot of uh I've been grinding this game quite a bit because I've really been enjoying it I've been having so much fun building this Raj I'm not a particularly good builder in the sims so um oh cool there's a fair the fair has started that reminds me something i actually do want to get is the sims four seasons um i'm i'm stuck in the rabbit hole now i'm gonna end up buying all the packs at some point um just to see how the the horses kind of interact with the different weather uh but for right now we do just have the base game cottage living and uh the ranch as well those those are the packs i have loaded um so apart from the arena i did make like this tiny minuscule little tack room this was originally i think a wine cellar or like a little wine room um and i just repurposed it to to have like horsey themed stuff so this is more like just decorative i th i still thought it was cute and i felt like we definitely needed a tack room since this is definitely more of like a a showground sort of sort of place because we've got sort of a lot going on for horses here. I have two identical sort of pastures um, and they both have like the two beds. Um, I haven't done the breeding yet so I genuinely don't know how that works. I think they do it on the the beds uh, so we'll prompt that uno spermento but we basically have the same over here but I did want to introduce you to our new family members because as you guys saw last time Jericho and Sporkle are still here. Um, they're both amazing at uh at their skills now they've both been competing a lot but our two new additions were gizmo which you oh goodness that was a very dramatic entrance gizmo and then we have kayla and i absolutely adore her she's this like black uh, is it blanket i think it's a blanket appaloosa um or a snow cap i can't remember i think it is blanket but um i was deciding on a mare uh before i realized that they don't have like set genders that you can basically breed with any horse which is really nice so the first thing i'm going to do is i think you can prompt the horses to breed so i'm going to go ahead and bring abigail over here um i have locked these gates so that they can't escape um so i think what i do is more choices ah here we go so we can encourage to and of course we can encourage to socialize as well actually i think she should have done that i should have probably encouraged to socialize but i think we can encourage to breed with jericho yeah oh she's and she thought about it i think she's thinking about it She's... Oh my goodness. That was so 
cute! That is an adorable animation. I love that so, so much. So is she, is she pregnant now? Is there a way I can check? Oh, wait. Huh, wait, they do have Brie, they do have genders. Oh, I must have completely missed that. Oh no, wait, if I miss that, what does, stallion? Oh, Kayla's a stallion. Oops, I think I could change it, but I just don't know how. Okay, so I must have gotten accidentally lucky with Sporkle being a mare and uh, Jericho being a stallion because I did not find that in the creator sim before. I don't know how to change it, but uh, I think Sporkle's pregnant. I've, ma I've been able to change Kayla to a mare. I cannot believe I completely missed that option. Um, I don't know how that happened, but there we go. Uh, so Kayla's now a mare, a lovely mare, and we can actually do the breeding. I wanted to do like two of them simultaneously because I'm not sure how long that takes. Uh, so let me just pop over here and then ask Kayla and Gizmo to try breeding. Okay, so I'm gonna encourage her to breed with Jericho again. Um, I don't know if that means that it wasn't, it wasn't successful. So cute. Now, I think that was slightly different to the one we just saw. Um, so I don't know if there's like a specific animation or like fireworks scene that means that it was it was successful. I do not know. Uh, but all I do know is that I will be picking up poop for the rest of my entire sim life. So looking forward to that. Oh, look at the baby sleeping. They're so cute. So something that I really liked is you can assign the beds so that they'll like prefer to sleep in a specific bed. Um, it's so cute, look at them. Uh, uh, Gizmo and Kayla also asleep. Okay, Gizmo's decided just to like sleep in the field, which is fine. Oh, he's cute as well. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. And Kayla has actually decided to go to bed, which is quite nice. Did I? Yeah, it is assigned to him. This this horse bed is assigned to him, but he just decided to sleep in, in the paddock. So, I mean, you do you, man. You sleep peacefully. They're so cute. Oh, <gasps> Sporkle is expecting. She's pregnant. Did am I crazy or did her stomach get bigger? I think I might be crazy. I feel like her stomach got bigger. <gasps> Oh, she's pregnant. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm genuinely so excited. I hope I hope t Kayla takes to it soon as well. Um, let me see if I can encourage breeding again. I think I'd like to take them for another... Is Kayla's stomach bigger? <gasps> Congratulations, Kayla is expecting. Ah, I knew it. As soon as I saw her belly, I was like, she's pregnant. I'm so excited. These two, I have. Oh goodness! All right, Kayla. Um, uh, these two are going to be such a strange foal. So it it might be difficult to see, but Gizmo is actually flea bitten, um, and obviously Kayla is a bay blanket Appaloosa. So I'm so excited to see what babies we get. I don't know if it'll give me like a pop up when they're gonna be born, but I really hope it's soon. Like I really, really, really hope it's soon. <gasps> Gone into labor. Sporkle is bursting with anticipation to meet her foal. <gasps> Get over here! Quick! She's gonna have a foal! <gasps> I'm so excited. I hope it doesn't like clip through the fence because she's she's standing really close to the fence. Go, Abigail! Come on! You can't miss this. Run. Let's go! Okay, okay, I'm here. Uh, nobody panic. Have your baby now. You can have your baby. Is there something I have to do? I'm gonna listen to Sporkle. Sporkle's probably telling me all about the woes of, of pregnancy. Oh, Kayla, Kayla's gonna give birth as well. Okay, well, Sporkle took quite a while, so I think we can run over there. She's she's about to have it, I can feel it. Oh my gosh. Never mind. <laughs> the timing of that was so bad. Sporkle, that's not what I'm looking for. I thought you were gonna give birth. Oh my goodness, she just had to poop. Where'd the baby? <gasps> Sporkle just gave birth to a foal. What would you like to call him? Oh, it's a him. <gasps> I, ha I don't know what he looks like, though. I'm going to call him Jasper. I like. I really like the name Jasper. And he's in the family, so he's Jasper Pinehaven. What does he look like, though? <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, he's like a little miniature Sporkle, but, like, with his... 
Hey, color hair? Ah, it's so cute! Oh my gosh! He's so cute! What can I do with you? Oh, and Kayla's gonna give birth in a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, is he falling? Oh my god, he's so cute. Can I, um, maybe not discuss possible tra time travel? I feel like now's not the time. Let's bottle feed him! Ah! That's our first pet! Oh, bottle feed. Okay, what's wrong? What, what? Oh! Kayla's about to give birth, and I missed it. Oh no. Oh, Kayla, I'm so sorry. Uh, but come, you have to come quickly, come quickly, otherwise we're gonna miss the birth. Oh, we missed the birth, okay. Him, it's another boy. Um, Let's call him, I'm gonna call him Bingo. I feel like that's a cute name. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a little replica of Kayla. Is that normal? Like, is it usually that it's like a replica of the mare? Oh, she's so cute. He, sorry, he's so cute. Little Bingo. Oh my gosh, tell me in the comments which foal is your favorite. Is it Bingo or Jasper? I like Jasper. Jasper needs a new hair color though, for sure. I feel like that's not gonna work when he's grown up. But uh, Bingo is a literally perfect. Look, they're so cute. Yeah, I'm standing in pee and bottle feeding. <laughs> oh, oh. He's so cute! Cradle! Oh, stop it, that's adorable! Hey, Rabbit, can you move? I'm trying to have a moment with my foal! They're so cute! Okay, I'm kind of tempted to, to like, see if they can... Hang on. Breed again, encourage to you. Breed with... Jericho. Should we do it again? Oh, that's so bad. I shouldn't have done that. Oh. oh, she's in labor. Let's go. Oh my gosh, the ranch is a bit of a mess. Okay, so at 6 a.m. on the Simoleon Wednesday, we're... Oh, already? Okay, that was a very short labor period. So we have another boy. That's three boys in a row. Let's go for... Let's go for Eddie. I feel like Eddie is a cute name. So he's, of course, Eddie Pinehaven. Um, I'm very curious to see what he looks like, though, because we had a sporkle, I identical sporkle, basically, apart from the hair, and an identical Kayla. So let's see if there's any hint of Jericho in this fall. Hopefully. <gasps> there isn't! Interesting! Oh, good job, sporkle! She's so cute! <laughs> They're gonna meet for the first time. My sim's crying. <laughs> Same, that was so cute. <gasps> That's adorable. That looks exactly, literally exactly like Jasper. Um, My goodness. Except actually the facial features already look very Arabian. Um, He has a very Arabian horse face. So he is so, so cute. Unlike Jasper, Eddie does have a lot more of, a, of an Arabian face in his facial features. Um, And he does sort of have a bigger body than I think Sporkle does. So I think he takes more after his dad. Uh, but that's so cute. Definitely let me know which foals were your favorite, whether it be Eddie, Jasper, or Bingo. I think Bingo was personally my favorite. I'm really excited because I'd love to start more series. I'd love to do build videos and maybe even building live streams uh, we'll see but definitely make sure to grab your own horse ranch expansion pack in the link down below so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video bye bye